And we have been joined in the studio by one of the ministers in the country whose main aim is to win souls for Christ. Paris yes. Music has joined us in the studio. So you are welcome. Thank you. JJ. How are you doing? <laughs> tired. Mm, tired. It's not yeah. easy, huh? But I'm good. You're I mean, good. overall, I think um, I'm doing quite well. Mm. Mm. Okay. And uh, I want to find out from you, have our what schemes uh, in Ghana been fair to gospel musicians in the country? Hey. <laughs> Still want to put on my head. Oh. I mean, it, it's a matter of perspective and mm -hmm. um, what each artist is looking at or looking from um, the award scheme. Because I think it goes beyond just uh, receiving the award. I think uh, a nomination, depending on how you 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 harness it, can actually be of some benefit to you as an artist. So in terms of fairness, it depends on what the individual is looking for or, or is looking at. Okay. Yeah, but for me, me to me baby, and <laughs> uh, now one nominated me, one yeah. fan mama, me, and, fan, and said, mm. yeah, big deal. So yeah. which means you are not really a fan of awards. As to whether uh, in your career, if you win awards, uh, it doesn't really matter to you. And I'm, and like, um, when David killed um, Goliath, he got an award. Like, he got a reward. Yeah. I mean, um, Saul gave him a reward. He even gave him a wife. Right. So, <laughs> there's actually nothing wrong with being, um, with getting, I don't have a problem with getting um, an award. But when you make that your focus, that is where it becomes a problem. When you focus more on awards than the voice of God. So, now it, it turns that your your music or your ministry, your ministry is detected by award schemes and the criteria of award scheme and the timing of award schemes. That is when it's a problem. But if you're doing your thing, like if you are obeying and doing just as you've been called to and the award comes on along the way, it's a byproduct. You take it. Mm. And this year, I mean, just a few weeks to go and then VGMA will be having a their next edition. Do you have high hopes for the gospel journal? Um, in, yeah, I do. I mean, to be very honest with you, I feel like over the years, the gospel, in the, the gospel musicians have really worked and they deserve it. And I, for me, I think they put in a lot of work in terms of production wise, we put in a lot of work and I believe that it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's well deserved. And I've seen a lot of I, for instance, I got about six nominations. I know about MOG, I know about PCS. I mean, I think if they should get awards, it's well deserved. And if they don't get it, I mean, we move. We move. Okay, very interesting to note. But I mean, uh, you have come out with your first single this year, though you came out with a prayer EP, like yeah. you mentioned, but then this is your first single for the year 2023, uh, The Lights. What came uh, to mind? Like, did you actually receive this one from the Holy Spirit? Uh, did you actually sit down to write it? How did you get this one? So for me, most of my songs, I don't really sit down to write them. Some of them come so then when I'm buffing. Sometimes when oh. I'm praying, so I mean, at very weird times, like it, this morning I was in a taxi and just when we climbed the Dubai, Circle Dubai right. overhead, <laughs> a song hit me Wow! and I had to record it on my phone. And then I realized that it would actually match with a song that I had some years ago and I just merged it and it's working. So, um, but The Light was written, I think about three years ago. Okay. Yeah. I actually did a version of it. And then when I was going to do my concert, I'm like, you know what, let me just refix the song and put emoji on it. And I think emoji did amazing on the song. He, he, he nailed it. And if you read the story of the Israelites when they were leaving um, Egypt to um, the promised land, the Bible says that at a point God was uh, a pillar of cloud ahead of them by day. Right. And then in, by night it was a pillar of fire. Yeah. So I chose the pillar of fire um, aspect of it because listen we are surrounded by a lot of darkness in this mm. world and it takes only the light of God to be very honest with you like and the funny thing is some of the deceptions of the current world that we live in they are so beautiful that they sound like that is the truth yeah. so if you don't have the true light of God you might be following something and you may think you are following the right thing but you are actually following the wrong thing so if you make God your focus, if you make God your source, your ultimate source, he would definitely sort you out. I mean, you don't need to depend on their leaders in the ministry or their leaders in, in Christianity, but make sure you form a personal relationship with God. 
and personal dependence on 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 him, not only. We want them in the past area, I know we because. <laughs> He or she doesn't even know how to pray for themselves. Yeah, they don't yeah. have a personal relationship. They don't have yeah. a personal relationship with God. So their focus is on their pastor. I mean, they hail their pastor as though he's God, but he's not. I mean, he can go within a split of an eye. So it's mm-hmm. rather you have a personal relationship with God, and that's what matters. So sometimes they can stand in between the gap, but then sometimes as well, you personally. I mean, yeah, they to. they can, and, and as they should, that's their 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 work. But mm-hmm. what they do is, as Christ said, if you if you lift me up, I will draw men to myself. So it is about lifting God up. So if I if I should start a church, I'm not starting a church where I'll be u- utilized or I'll be worshipped, but I'm yeah. I'm starting a church where I'm pointing the people who come to the church to Christ. Yes, because to be very honest with you, if you point people to you. And you see, this is what makes a lot of people, you realize that they start well, but then in the middle, they end up adding certain things to yeah. Yeah. Because when you put, when you put, or you make, you draw people to yourself, what happens is that now they tend to depend on you and the pressure is on you. Yeah. And you, as a human being, you can only do enough. Mm-hmm. You know, now there are demands and you cannot meet the demands. So now you have to go for a different source. You are, it's, a, it's a problem because you've told somebody to come and pay money for healing but yeah. God is not ready to heal the person you can't force God yeah. so now what do you do you have to go and look for the healing somewhere <laughs> come so you realize that before you realize you've drifted away from your yeah. call yeah. yeah so so the light is to bring people back to God uh, to make them more have personal relationships yeah just God. to set people in remembrance that, that <clears throat> sorry excuse me in remembrance that listen this is the true source and this is where your dependence must be do you feel that a lot of people have uh, drifted away uh, from God? Do you feel like a lot of people have lost faith uh, in these last days? I mean, it's not even, I'm, I'm not even the one supposed to mm-hmm. say it. The Bible says that in the last days, the love of many will grow cold. So it's happening, and you, can, you can't really fault people um, too much because there's a lot of economic pressure. There's a lot of... Um, 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 Families are breaking and everything, and that is what is um, um, causing some of these things. And it's right up, it's, it's actually putting people's faith, is making people's faith very shaky. But this is when we, as the ministers of God or people who proclaim Christ, this is when we are supposed to go hard. This is when we are supposed to to push the gospel. I mean, even in our imperfections, we still must make sure that we push the gospel as hard as we can because. Um, You'll be surprised that you may think that you yourself you are not correct too, but <laughs> there's somebody down there who is yeah. depending on your strength. Yes. Somebody down there who is depending on the next song you're about to release. So if you're a pastor, there's somebody there who is depending on the next message you're about to preach. So we that we have um, formed a relationship with God, we need to work harder. We need to be stronger. We need to stand and push harder because. People are, like you said, people are actually losing it. There's a lot of pressure. People are actually losing it. Like, people don't even have time to go to church on Sundays anymore. A lot of people are. So we need to push harder. And we need to take the church to the streets, take it to the people, take it to the homes of the people, take it to their phones. Yeah? Yes. But how would you have a song like a year ago and then you would now um, decide to bring it out now? Is there a time where is there something that influences your time choice that, okay, this is the right time? Does the Holy Spirit direct you? How do you do all that? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of both. Um, I mean, the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. So sometimes you also need to be discerning. You also need to know your timing. You also need to know the season within which we are in before you release. This song was recorded in August last year during my glorified concert. Okay. That was my first major concert. And that's when we recorded the song. So um, I could have released it earlier, but I'm about to release other songs within the year. But I thought that, you know what, let me start with this. Um, It's a good way to um, build the momentum for the other songs that are about to be released. So this is the first of its kind. Like first of many, that's many, no, not many. It's not not that many. (laughs) Yeah. Why Why did you you choose? (laughs) (laughs) Why did you choose MOG though? (laughs) I felt like um, MOG has this, is it Steve's the right word? He has the swag. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he had, yeah. he had, he had, he had the, <laughs> apart from the spirit, 
Mm-hmm. He also had the swag and the yeah, vibe for yeah. it. And I, I mean, he nailed it. Yesterday when we went to one another radio um, TV station and they were playing the song, and emojis part came, and I guess it been was like, ah, no, what there? He owned it, and I, and I, and I love yeah. that. Like, he gave it, yeah, like honestly, all, yeah. he gave it his hundred percent. The day before the concert, he yeah. came in for rehearsal. Just want, like, I mean, I just want to say a big thank you to him because he really put in a hundred percent, not even fifty, not seventy. He gave it his all, and even on the day of the yeah. recording, even me that I wrote the song at the <laughs> point, he had to help me. So I wow. mean, stop. Powerful. And now people are saying so something. Far. <laughs> 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 Today you are quiet. We are talking about church. <laughs> so ask me a question. The question I'll ask you is: mm. you you have so many songs mm. that you prepare for, mm. and I know how you are very, very um, into your music. Whenever you are trying to put something out, and talking about your concerts, you came here. We spoke about it. Yeah, I was sitting there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> When you put out a record or when you are trying to get into something, what are some of the things that if you put out a song, let's say Hey Wale, that's your song, right? You see the hey song on it, right? <laughs> well, why do you do? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, when you put song. out such a song and you put in your <laughs> all, before you come out with a new song, what are some of the previous lessons that you learn that you say, oh, I'm going to make sure that the next record that I'm putting out, I don't repeat the mistakes. And what do you do to make it better? That's a very good question. I mean, <laughs> why are you laughing? Nothing. I mean, um, it's it, it, like I always say, you need to read the seasons and the times that mm-hmm. you are in when you're releasing a song. Um, in terms of lessons learned, as an artist, I think I have evolved. And my evolution had not just been, even with the timing of my releases, but even the style of the music that I do. So looking at, I sometimes, you know what, I've noticed something. It's funny, before I continue... All of you are fair, and I'm dark. So anytime they put the camera on me, <laughs> I look so dark. That's oh, all really. That's you. <laughs> but you know the oh. white compliments you. Right. Oh, no, it makes it worse. Oh, no, no, that's <laughs> anyway. No, that's so where was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, so so I'm I'm think like um I'm confused. Oh, don't be. No, so you need to. You're talking about how from, the music has evolved. Yes, yeah. apart from my evolution as um, to, um as just an uh, as an artist i've also evolved in, with my style of music so at every point in time um once you're growing like you're saying you definitely make mistakes yeah you definitely not actually mistakes but you learn yeah. Yeah. and you are doing the bible says that we are in the world we are not of the world mm-hmm. so we are in a world where there there's a constant change the world keeps evolving. Things yeah. are changing. So sound is changing. Yeah. Um, the way people consume music is changing. Mm-hmm. Um, now TikTok is like the thing. Everybody's on yeah. TikTok. Mm-hmm. So if you want to reach that people, you find mm-hmm. a way to get there. You can't say that, telling me I don't believe in TikTok. So yeah. you will not, you know. So you have to also understand the times that you are in, so that when whatever is packaged for you or whatever God gives to you, you will know how to package it, and mm-hmm. and 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 and. and Give it to the it people. Out. So yeah. you learn as you go, and you need to be you need to be um, tech savvy. You need to you need to be pro, um, yeah. um, you need to be prompt. You need to be proactive. Yeah. You also need to be in time. Like um, what's the word? You need to know what's going on. Yeah. And how deliberate are you in terms of promoting this particular single? I'm 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 quite deliberate. Um, quite deliberate i'm using it um no let me not spill my secrets like i'm actually very <laughs> deliberate about this i want to see how how hard i can go on it and i want to see the response because i i believe that is quite a good song yeah it's a good it's a good song and the reception so far how so far it's been good. been good so far it's been good but you know sometimes people will say people will just um will just jump on just because it is you right yeah but you need to you need to actually give the people the reason yeah. why they should love what they are. It what should you go are doing. beyond just because yes. of Perez. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Any international mm-hmm. collaboration? Um, um let's, let's keep down. You say, let me not spill my secrets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know me. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> but what else are we to expect from you this year? Uh, apart from the single, should we expect an album from you? Um. I had wanted to release an album, but I've slowed down small. Oh, because, why? Um, <laughs> it's not like I can release an album tomorrow if I want to. Okay. But I, I feel like I need to, I need to, to be very honest, I don't like to overrate myself or underrate myself. 
Right. I'll not underrate myself, neither will I overrate myself. I believe that I'm a growing brand. I'm building. And um, as I'm building, I want to build a certain, um, a certain base, a certain audience, a certain, uh, um, I don't want to say, a certain um, audience, so that if I should release an album right now, it would, it would, it would sit well with them. The response would be, the response would be good, you know, because you wouldn't want to put in so much work and not have yeah. people. So yeah. for now, we'll do the singles for some time. I, I was in a hurry to release an album, but I mean, upon upon some conversations with some people, I realized that no, I need to chill. I think it easy. Yep. Okay. And that's all part yeah. of the lesson, you know. Sometimes yeah. you might take a decision. Yes, yeah, so it's part of the lesson. Yeah, yeah, my father would say it's only a foolish man who doesn't change his mind. <laughs> Paris music. It's been good having you here. All the time is yeah. yeah, so... <laughs> people, it's like, you know what, let me go tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> is there something else you want to tell us? Anyways, before, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I really, really in, appreciate it. Yeah. Anytime you come, you know... There's always a vibe, you know. Yeah. 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 No, this is your second home. We might home. seem like a fight. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, next time we invite me, invite another dark person. Because the way you put oh, is not... And the, the fairness to you can too. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for having us in your homes. Thank you to our guests. Most okay.